In our previous lecture, we have studied how to eliminate a node in a given matrix using matrix partitioning method. Now let us solve a numerical example so that we can grasp that concept more firmly. Let us see what's the example. Here a matrix of 4 by 4 order is given and we are asked to eliminate node 4. That is we are asked to eliminate this node. Now we had seen that if I partition this given matrix in such a way that I can utilize my previous formula then it will be very easy to eliminate this node and furthermore it is observed that node 4 is the highest number node. So we do not require any renumbering of the nodes. So let us say I partition this no, this matrix in this given way. A vertical line between column 3 and column 4 and a horizontal line between row 3 and row 4. If I somehow eliminate this row and this column then I will have a resultant 3 by 3 matrix and this node 4 will be eliminated because here it pertains to node 4 and this also pertains to node 4. We knew that if I partition the matrix in such a way that this matrix is, is K, this matrix is L and this matrix is L transpose and this is M, then the elements of new matrix K can be given by y k j nu is equal to y k j old minus y k n y n j divided by y n n. These are the old ones. Okay. So, using this formula repeatedly, I can get the elements of the new K matrix. This is the old K matrix. And once I use this formula repeatedly, then I will get a matrix K with new elements and it will be of order n minus 1 by n minus 1. Here in this case, it will be of 3 by 3 order matrix. So, for example, if I want to eliminate, let us say, the element number, this one, y12, okay. So, I want to find out this new element, y12 new. So, what I will have, y12 old minus y14 into y4 2 divided by y 4 4 putting the values here what I will have 0, 0.0 minus what is y 1 4 here y 1 4 is j 5.0 and what is y 4 2 y 4 2 is nothing but j 5.0 and this element is nothing but minus j 18.0. So it will give me j square is just nothing but minus 1. It will be 25.0 divided by minus j 18.0. Or this will come out to be this j will come up. j 25.0 divided by 18.0 okay similarly i can find all other elements but i will have to utilize this formula nine times because there are nine elements but you see 
we can reduce the number of calculations if the given matrix is a symmetric matrix then I will have to determine only the diagonal elements and half of the non -diagonal, diagonal elements because the other half non diagonal elements will be equal to the already calculated ones if the matrix is symmetric however we should try to find all the elements so that there is no doubt in our minds now I have already solved this example I will directly write the new matrix K which I will get on repeated calculations using this formula and in the next slide I will directly write the new matrix now here I have written the new K matrix which is equal to the new entrance matrix after elimination of the node 4 so you see that by repeated use of the formula I can easily eliminate any node and the calculations although are large in number but the calculations are not that tough they are very easy you see that the resultant matrix is still symmetric so here again I had to you know uh, do the calculation only half the number of times and I could have found all the new matrix by only half the number of calculations so in this way I can utilize the previously studied concept to eliminate any node we will utilize this concept in building the Z bus in the upcoming lectures also we will try to solve a numerical example which will cover all the concepts which we have studied in the formation of Y bus uh, in one of the upcoming lectures. So if you find that this lecture is helpful to you then please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.